good morning students today we are going to deal with the numerical problems from income and expenditure account in my previous class i have taught you the concepts related to your income and expenditure account that is the format i have explained you what are the items that will be recorded on the income side that is credit side and what are the items that will be appearing on your debit side that is expenditure side now we are going to deal with a problem take out your textbook page number 1.68 it's a exercise problem problem number 40 right i already documented here page number 1.68 problem number 40 what they have given us and what they have asked they have asked us to prepare an income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st of march 2020 from the following receipts and payment account so you will be given a receipt and payment account or you can be given a running data from which you can be asked to prepare an income and expenditure account so in this problem we have been supplied with a receipts and payment account let's see what are all the items that are appearing on the receipt side and what are the items on the payment side and for our income and expenditure account what we need to consider from the given receipts and payment account because receipts and payment account will be documenting both capital receipts as well as revenue receipts and capital payment and revenue payments but when we are going to prepare an income and expenditure account we should keep in our mind that only revenue nature those items that is those income which are revenue in nature and those expenditures which are revenue in nature should only be taken into account for preparing your income and expenditure account first one is to balance brought down opening balance of cash as i already said income and expenditure account will not have any opening or closing balance of cash or bank at all so you should not take any opening or closing balance of cash in hand or cash at bank so it's ruled out second item under your receipts is to subscriptions yes subscription is a item which will be forming part of your revenue income so you can take subscriptions next to sale of investments investments is basically a fixed asset but we are not supposed to take this sale of investment the reason is if you just go and check the format the format would specify the sale of investment but not the amount of sale the profit or loss on sale of those fixed assets which means in this problem they are given you the sale value alone they haven't given you the book value of the investment or the cost of the investment so you cannot take this investment for computation purpose it should not be taken into account hope you are taking my notes next is to sale of old furniture look at this furniture is also a fixed asset the value of furniture has been given for what rate we are sold it is sold for rupees 30000 but however it has also given us the book value the book value is 40000 now look at it book value is 40000 but the sale value is 30000 is it a profit or loss on the sale see the worth of 40000 furniture furniture worth of 40000 you are selling it at the rate of 30000 means it leads to a profit or leads to say loss yes it leads to loss so loss on sale of furniture where it will be recorded it should be recorded on the expenditure side that is on the debit side then finally on the receipt side you have donations yes donation can be taken into account 
it is a recurring in nature so it is an income to the non profit organization so you will take it to the credit side now moving on to your payment side the payment side first item is salaries a yes, salaries is a recurring expenditure so it can be taken up for computation 4 lakh 80000 rupees next rent rent is also a recurring in nature so it is a recurring expenditure you can take rent for computation will be recorded on the debit side stationery yes it is a recurring in nature frequently you will be purchasing stationeries it can be recorded on the debit side of your income and expenditure account next defense bonds you are purchasing some bonds investment in bonds and all these leads to a fixed assets it's all a fixed assets so you are not supposed to take this bonds payment into our expenditure it should be taken up to the balance sheet the next one is furniture furniture is also a fixed asset so furniture purchase will not be taken into account it should be taken to your balance sheet next one purchase of bicycle you are not supposed to take into account because bicycle form part of your fixed asset vehicles so it should be shown only in your balance sheet finally you have got the closing balance of cash which you will take it will you take it no good you are not supposed to take the closing balance of cash also now let's start working on our income and expenditure account so it will come to know whether we are ending up in a surplus or are we going to end up in deficit so you have to write the heading how will you write the heading income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st march 2020 check out whether have they given the name of the organization no since the name of the organization is not given you can write in this way if the name of the organization is given up then income and expenditure account of the respective organization name for the year and the 31st of march 2020 or whatever the year they are given you will post up now you will have to prepare debit side credit side then debit side will denote your expenditure and amount in rupees credit side denotes your income amount in rupees done with this so first item as you saw in our expenditure account we will record all the payments which are the payments will come as i said you will have your salaries So two salaries value is rupees four lakhs eighty thousand. Next you will have the rent payment. Two rent value is how much rupees fifty thousand. The next item is stationeries. So two. stationery value is rupees 20000 next if you see anything to be record after stationery no defense bonds furniture bicycles will not come okay now move on to the receipt side opening cash balance will not come subscriptions yes it will come so you will write by subscriptions value of your subscription is 9 lakhs please be very careful while you are entering the zero should not be excess zero or should not be okay less amount of zeros it should be proper the next one is in your receipt side 
you will not take the sale of investment because it becomes a fixed asset but the book value is not given so you can't take up sale of old furniture here if you see it leads to profit or loss yes it's a loss item 10,000 so loss should be recorded on the debit side so two loss on sale of furniture value of rupees 10,000 and finally you have donations it is your risk income so by donations what's the value of your donation value of donation is 10,000 now you total up your debit side and credit side separate separately here 9 lakh plus 10,000 will be 9 lakh 10,000 moving on to our debit side it is very simple to calculate it 50,000 plus 20,000 plus 10,000 will be 80,000 4 lakh 80 plus over here 80 will be how much it will be good 5 lakh 60,000 so which side is heavier now if you look at it debit side or credit side which side is heavier for me the debit side total comes up to rupees 5 lakh 60,000 whereas my credit side total comes to rupees 9 lakh 10,000 so credit side is heavier so if my income side is heavier means then the balance which is going to appear on my debit side will be documented by the name as surplus so 2 surplus within a bracket you can write as balancing figure how much is the differences 5 lakh 60 9 lakh 10 difference will be 3 lakh 50,000 rupees so 3 lakh 50,000 you will close it 9 lakh 10,000 9 lakh 10,000 hope you understood this problem now let's try out another problem problem number 41 shall we move on okay okay problem number 41 again the problem 41 you have been given with the receipts and payment account for the year on the 31st of March 2020 and what's special in this problem is you have been given with some adjustments below your receipts and payment account so beneath your receipts and payment account there are some adjustments what are they they are given something related to donations and something related to the medicine purchased and something related to government grants first let's read out the question so receipts and side you have got the opening balance of cash will you take the opening balance of cash no you are not supposed to take the opening balance of cash next item is subscription will you take subscription into account yes you will take subscription into account next you will take fees from non-members yes you will take fees from non-members into account it's an income will you take government grants yes you will take government grants into account for competition the next item which is given up is to donation for building fund what is that this donation in general you can take it but donation for a building fund they are given very specifically this donation is to be utilized only for the building purpose then that becomes specific donations so specific donations should not be taken into account when we compute our income and expenditure account only general donations can be taken for calculation purpose specific donations will go to your balance sheet so you should not take the donations for the building purpose 
In the same way, suppose if it is given donation for construction of pavilion, donation for construction of library, if they are specifically given for what purpose the donation is for, then those donations all are considered to be as specific donations. Can you able to follow me students? Right. The next item under the receipt side is interest. Interest is a recurring receipt. So you can take interest for computation. Now, let's move on to our payment side. Salaries of nurses, yes, you will take it for the computation. It can be taken up. The next one is by board, laundry and domestic help. Yes, it is a recurring in nature. You will take up. By rent and rates and taxes, recurring in nature, you will take for calculation. By cost of car, what is that? It's the value of the car. Car is also a fixed asset. Will you take it? No, you are not supposed to take the cost of car because it's a fixed asset. Next one, by expenses of car. Yes, expenses of car will come into account. It will be taken up. Say for example, the fuel expenses, petrol or diesel, which you use, okay, for your locomotion. So that is a recurring nature. Frequently you have to fill up the fuels. So it's a recurring nature. Or if you want to give up for the services, that becomes a recurring nature. So it is a frequent expenditure. So those expenses on car can be taken up for your calculating purpose. It will appear on your debit side of your income and expenditure account. The next one is by drug and incidental expenses. What is this drug? It's something related to medicines. So pharmaceutical, yes, if you look at the question itself, they are given very clearly. Prepare the income and expenditure account for the following from the following receipts and payment account of Delhi Nursing Society. So it's something related to a nursing society or it's a clinic. So drugs and incidental expenses is a recurring in nature. You will take that into account. And closing balance should not be taken into account. Now you come for the adjustments. Donation of rupees 10,000 received for building fund was wrongly included in subscription account. So here what they are saying is you have got some donation which is a specific donation. The value of donation is 1,56,000. In that you have made a mistake like you have taken 10,000 rupees of donation and you have clubbed with your subscription. It is wrongly included in subscription, is it? So, we are not supposed to take specific donation itself for computation. Whereas, you have taken a part of the specific donation and treated it as a subscription. It is fundamentally a wrong principle. It's something you have done wrong. And they have mentioned very clearly, it's a wrongly you have done an inclusion in your subscription so what you need to do you have to eliminate that means you have to subtract an amount of rupees 10,000 from the respective subscription amount that is from rupees 1,11,500 which is your subscription overall subscription value you need to eliminate rupees 10,000 can you able to follow me that will give you the actual subscription received during the year. Next, they have said that a bill of medic medicine purchased during the year amounted to rupees 12,800. So, you have purchased some medicines for worth of rupees 12,800, but it's still outstanding, which means you didn't clear that bill. So, current year outstanding. As I said, this income and expenditure account is based on the accrual basis of accounting. So any outstanding prepaid or else the advances, all those will come into the picture. So current year outstanding, what we need to do the treatment is, we need to add up. So with which value will add it? 
this 12,800 you will have to add with the drug and incidental expenses. Can you able to follow me? Good. The next one they said as an information, government grant is not for specific purpose. If you just go back to the format, you will understand very clearly that grant can be of two types, general grant and specific grant. So here they are mentioning very clearly that the government grant which you receive is not for any specific purpose which means you can take it for our computation so now shall we proceed with the problem where we need to record what and what treatment to be given up so first write down the heading as income and expenditure account for the year and the 31st March 2020 similarly you will have debit side credit side you will be mentioning as expenditure amount of rupees income amount of rupees any doubt so far students right now first let me keep filling up my debit side so first item is to nurse salary so to salaries of nurses salaries of nurses what's the value 65,600 next item is to board laundry etc right you have board laundry and domestic health so that you will write it to board laundry and domestic health the value of this is 38,000 The next item is rent rate and taxes. So two rent rates and taxes. What's the value of this rent rates and taxes? Twenty thousand. What next is expenses on car? So two expenses of car. Value of that is 84,000. Am I right? The value of your car expenses is 84,000. Please have your textbooks also nearby. Only then you can be able to understand the concepts very clearly. Right? So two expenses of car. Okay. The next one is by drug and incidental expenses given up. So that will come over here as to drug and incidental expenses remember we have an adjustment for this so what you do is you first record the amount in the inner column add the outstanding value towards it and drop down the final value in the outer column so the value of the drug and incidental charges is 67,000 with this you add the outstanding bill don't use shortcut use your full abbreviation I am using here as shortcut OBRS but you are not supposed to use OBRS as shortcut use the full form so outstanding bill what is the value of the outstanding bill 12,000 800 when you add these both what amount you will get 79,800 drop that value in the outer column with this my expenditure comes to an end now I am moving on to my incomes so first by 
subscription remember even subscription there is an adjustment what has been said out of the subscription 1 lakh 11500 10000 worth of subscription is not all a subscription it is from the specific donation you are included so what you need to do you need to take that value out so 1 lakh okay 11500 minus okay the amount of the donation okay so donation what is the value of the donation 10000 so the net value we will get as 1 lakh and 1500 that should be recorded in the outer column able to understand from the overall subscription the amount of specific donation is included in this so i am eliminating the 10000 that gives me the net amount of subscription which to be taken for computation the next one is by fees from outside member or non member what's the value of that the fee amount is 27000 the next one you have got government grant by government grants what's the value 1 lakh rupees and what's the next item interest interest value is 3000 800 after this i don't have anything else so i need to make the total of my debit side and credit side so let me see what value i am going to get it now my debit side overall value comes to an amount of rupees 2 lakhs 87400 Whereas my credit side total value comes up to an amount of rupees 2 lakhs 32,300. 2 lakhs 32,300. Now look at it. Which side stands greater? Debit side value is 2 lakhs 87,400. Whereas my credit side value is only 2 lakhs 32,000. 300. So my income side is less while compared to my expenditure side. So it leads to a deficit. So what I will do is I will make it here as by deficit which is a balancing figure. How much is the balancing figure we check out? It will be as 0, 0, 1 and here 7 to 5 here 5 so 55,100 so 55,100 and now I'll make my debit and credit equal so 2,87,400 so students I hope you would have understood these two sums, sum number 40 and sum number 41. Kindly copy it in your classwork and take down the sum number 42 as a homework and complete it by today and post it in the group. Sorry, post it in my personal WhatsApp. Right? Thank you students. We will see you with the remaining problems in the next session. Thank you.